hello and welcome back guys in this video i would be telling you how to draw a function generation that is a function generation problem how to design a mechanism all right now before starting with the video i would like to say that if you are new to this channel please subscribe to my channel and uh, please check out the links in the description you will find links for the books you can buy at a discounted price by clicking on the links and if you find this video helpful at the end please give a big like and comment if you have any doubt or you can comment any topic that you want to study or you want me to make the video and now starting with the video now what is function generation function generation implies that for a particular movement of the input link what is the movement of the output link all right now suppose you have given in the question or that is theta 1 2 phi 1 2 theta 1 3 phi 1 3 these angles are given now what is theta and what is phi suppose your mechanism is this is theta this is phi now, theta is the angle made by the crank with the x-axis and phi is the angle made by the output link with the x-axis now what is theta 1 2 and 1 3 you need to understand that these are the two positions suppose and these two are related for particular movement of the crank what should be the movement of the output link so function generation is that problem which in which we have to design a mechanism such that for a particular movement of input link what would be the corresponding movement of the output link all right so if input link moves by suppose uh, 60 degree then output link should move by 30 degree and if input link in another position it moves by 90 degree output link should move by 50 degree all right so this is our problem now how to start with this problem first you take first you take a distance a random distance nearly 5 to 6 mm 5 to 6 centimeter equal to ad you take ad distance is equal to 5 to 6 centimeter then now you have to find the relative pole i suppose you know what is relative pole all, all right now relative pole is the pole of a moving link with respect to another moving link all right now if you don't know what is relative pole you need to study what is relative pole all right it is not such difficult to understand now how to find relative pole now suppose our question was first of all you would be given that for, for a particular theta 1 2 phi 1 2 is this and for a particular theta 1 3 phi 1 3 is this this would be given all right suppose in the example that i have taken it is 60 30 90 and 50 degree that is theta 1 2 is 60 degree phi 1 2 is 30 degree theta 1 2, 3 is 90 degree phi 1 3 is 50 degree so how to draw this function generation problem using graphical method all right there are two methods first is graphical and second is algebraic but most mostly we do the questions by graphical method because it helps us to visualize all right now to find the relative pole consider this now first we have drawn a length ad equal to some random 5 to 6 centimeter then at a you take 
एंटी क्लॉक वाइज दैट इज टू टेक दिस एंगल थीटा वन टू बाई टू दैट इज यू टेक एंगल दैट वॉज हेयर इट वॉज सिक्सटी सो यू हैव टू मेक थर्टी डिग्री एंड हेयर इट वॉज थर्टी सो यू हैव टू मेक फिफ्टीन डिग्री सो फर्स्ट ना थीटा वन टू वुड बी मेड ऑन ए पॉइंट बिकॉज एट ए बिकॉज एट हेयर इट वॉज ए बी सी डी बिकॉज एट ए so because ab is the crank at a point you have to make theta and at d point you have to make phi to find the relative pole first we have to find relative pole so you make half of this angle and half of this angle at a and d respectively this you have to make at a this you have to make at d theta and phi a and d all right so 30 degree and 15 degree you make 30 degree anti clockwise in this direction 15 degree anti clockwise in this direction that is this i have made 30 degree this would be line so you proceed it backwards and this would be the line 5 and 2 by 2 that is this angle this would be the line you extend it backwards wherever they intersect it is called as r12 or relative pole 12 Alright, now similarly here it was ninety degree and fifty degree, so you make forty five degree and twenty five degree. Here you make forty five degree, that is forty five degree. Always you have to take anti clockwise sense, anti clockwise sense with the x axis. Alright, so you again measure here forty five degree. You proceed it backwards. Here you will make twenty five degree. You proceed it backwards. Wherever they intersect, it would be point R one three or relative pole one three. Now, I have shown you here. I have drawn it completely, and in this R one two is known. R one three is known. Now, what you have to do? You measure this angle. That is, this angle. What is this? you measure by protractor this angle for this question it comes out to be 20 degree all right that is what which angle is this this is this angle r13 that is the two lines angle between the two lines for a particular set that is for theta 12 by 2 and phi 12 by 2 wherever they intersect Theta one three by two and five one three by two wherever they intersect. So these are the two lines. You measure this angle, the same angle you measure, and you have to make. Here I have measured it twenty degree, so I have made. Again, you have to make twenty degree by taking one ray as it is. Suppose I have taken this ray, this this ray I have taken. All right, this ray I have taken. and by from this ray i have to make 20 degree anti clockwise so i would be getting this ray now since this was 20 degree i have made 20 degree here all right here i had r12 so now measuring this angle this this came out to be 16 degree so again i have to make 16 degree here like this this was 16 degree this came out to be 16 degree so this is 16 degree so again i have to make 16 degree by taking any two rays angle should be the same you take any two rays in between there should be 16 degree angle Similarly, here you have to take twenty degree angle. This is twenty degree, so this is also twenty degree. All right. Now, wherever they intersect, now they would be intersecting at two points. That is, the left ray, that is this this ray, would be intersecting this left ray here. and this right ray this right ray would be intersecting this right ray 
at some point here so the left left ray wherever they intersect you call it point b and where right right ray intersect you call it point c so our mechanism is made a b c d all right this is the design of mechanism is completed now we have to verify verify means we have to check whether our mechanism is correct or not now we will rotate this this is the input link ab ab was input link we have to rotate it by theta clockwise now to check you have to rotate clockwise you rotate it by 60 degree you rotate by 60 degree and check whether the output link rotates by 30 degree or not so how to verify i have first you take ab you make a arc equal to ab by keeping the compass at a and you make a arc so you get a arc all right and from d keeping radius equal to cd you make a arc now from ab you take measurement equal to 60 degree so this is 60 degree from here to here this is 60 degree i have shown now you make make a line wherever it intersects this would be point b dash now you take bc bc distance you take as the arc and keeping at b dash you cut this this angular arc here wherever it intersects it would be point c dash now you join c dash and d and measure angle between c d and c d c dash d if it comes out to be 30 degree your mechanism is correct otherwise it is wrong again i have to take theta 1390n so it should be 50 degree so now taking theta 1390 degree theta 1390 degree sorry this is theta theta 1390 degree now this was ab now we have to rotate 13 what it signifies that you have to rotate with respect to original that is this is original denotes 1 and this is final denotes 3 this was 1 this was 2 this was 3 all right these are three positions this is three position synthesis ab so 1 2 so you have to rotate this by 60 degree you came out to be a b dash now 1 3 so you rotate a b by 90 degree so it comes out to be here b double dash all right now again you measure b c distance take a arc from b double dash and cut it at here that is at c double dash it would cut you have taken initially c d dash you have taken initially c d as the arc and you have drawn an arc like this wherever now c c dash and c double dash would be lying on this arc only just like b b dash and b lies on this arc so you rotate a b by 60 degree a b by 90 degree take b c as the arc keeping the compass at b dash you cut at this c dash keeping at b double dash you cut at c double dash join join c dash with d c double dash with d and measure from original that is now it is also 1 2 and 1 3 that is with respect to 1 you have to measure now you measure angle between c d and c dash d if it comes out to be 30 degree and you measure angle between c d and c double dash d if it comes out to be 50 degree your mechanism is correct so this is the me mechan function generation by graphical method using three position synthesis and uh, i hope i made you understand and if you have any doubt please comment in the comment section below please subscribe to this channel if you have already not done and uh, please give a like to if you have enjoyed and you have learned something from this video please give a like and do check out the links in the description for more such videos and thank you bye bye